Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. <laughs> I did that in the last video, so I thought I should do it again. I don't know if it's gonna be my thing. It might not be my thing, but like, let's flow with it. Let's just go with it and see where it goes. Welcome back to another video. So today, um, I decided that I'm gonna give you the content that you signed up for hair content that's the basis that's the foundation of this channel so we're gonna get right to it tomorrow i have an event it's an art gallery exhibition and i'm just so excited darling um if you know me i'm all about art performance arts visual arts uh, spoken word written word like whatever but we'll get to talk more about that in future and so I want to look pretty. I want to be like the girl and her curls. You understand? So I'm going to do a twist out and I'm going to show you how I do a quick fire twist out. I'm experienced. I do this often. So it should literally take me like 10 minutes, 10 minutes. And we're going to speed through most of it. Alrighty. Alrighty. So this is how my hair was when I was at work today like this is like a go-to hairstyle of mine if you know me these space buns are like a go-to because it's so easy to do um but let's get started i got my hair stuff here in this raggedy old vase so this vase i spray painted gold at some point in life but the gold is gone but like we'll renew that at some point but not today today is not about that okay so it's good that my hair is already in two sections um so this is how i do it and it's quick guys like i'm not gonna try to make it perfect because I'm just trying to get a few curls I'm not gonna I'm not trying to get like a tight curl going on you know um, but you'll see how it works for the hairstyle that I'm going for tomorrow so this section um, is gonna be divided in two again show you so dividing it in two again let me do it properly here So it's been divided in two again and I'm just gonna tie up this front section because I'm gonna start with the back section. So this section is going to be three twists. So it's gonna be four sections with three twists in each section. Um, I'm getting these clips so your mouth will always be involved when you do natural hair naturally so I'm gonna hold this and get one section from the back so see what I've done there I'm gonna separate the section again and now I have three sections. I hope you can see that. I really hope you can see that. Okay. Then I'm going to leave one section out. You see? So again, it doesn't need to have lines. Because it won't matter when you unravel it in the morning. Then I have here a spray bottle with a mixture of an Aunt Jackie's leave-in condition and water. So it's very thick. So I water it down. Um, I water it down for the purpose of doing like a refresher on my hair or doing this twist out. So if I were doing a twist out and I wanted like super definition, I'd probably do it with a gel. But I'm not looking for super definition and I want it to dry overnight. If I was putting on a gel, it would probably take 
24 hours for it to properly dry and we all know how if your twist down is not properly dry it's gonna be a fail so that's why this is the only thing literally I'm gonna put so it's mixed with water this is how it looks that's the consistency and I'm just gonna rub on the section and then I'm gonna comb the section out with a Denman brush Denman brush and my hair was like relatively already detangled so I can go straight in with the Denman, Denman brush if it wasn't detangled nicely already I would be brushing it with this first then the Denman brush okay so then we're gonna start at the bottom and I'm gonna show you how I twist hope you can see it. yeah okay here we go and we are just gonna twist it all the way to the end try not to borrow sections because it will it will just not look as curly if you borrow sections it will make it more frizzy and there we go the first twist so I'm gonna do this for all three and then when I get to the front I'm gonna show you what I do in the front you know so that you get a proper view so I'm gonna pause then I'm gonna resume when I get to the front again all right okay so now I'm back and I've done the back okay so I'm going to do this front section and we're gonna divide it into three parts as well so let me just I'm gonna try to do this on the camera but it's hard okay okay I will go with that like I said it doesn't need to be perfect I'm just trying to get some curls so that it's curly here than this by tomorrow so you have your section take your leave-in conditioner and water mixture this is how much I put rub it on my hands and then put it through the hair so you're not saturating it because like this is an overnight thing it's an overnight thing so you don't want it to be heavy with product not dry and then get all frizzy during the day yeah so guys are we on our way to 100 subscribers like right now we're on <laughs> right now we're on last i checked 36 subscribers so i'm calling this the road to 100 subscribers and i mean we only we're only there we go we're only let me do the maths i'm not good at maths so if we're on 36 that means we're only 64 subscribers away from 100 like if you like what you're seeing on the channel please subscribe i'm gonna keep going like regardless i'm gonna keep going like i've got so much oomph and energy to do these videos i'm like i'm in a good space for that right now so i'm gonna keep going and i know i need to be consistent but i also need your support to know that my consistency is being appreciated so if you watched last week's video and you're back now watching this week's video i implore you to please click on the subscribe button you see how quick this is guys you see how quick this is my battery is low but my battery is low but i'm sure we can get through this it's on 10 percent and i told you this only takes about 10 minutes so i'm sure we can get through this um so yeah like i said 
the event that I'm going to tomorrow. I've been invited by my friend Snaz and it's a gallery exhibition of someone's artwork. I don't know the artist but I'm sure that by the end of tomorrow I'll know much much more about the guy and I'm looking forward to it. Like for me like no art is bad art like it's all an experience you learn something from everyone's art you know it might not be your cup of tea but you're definitely not gonna walk away not learning something at least that's my take on things so i'm sure i'll enjoy it tomorrow so i'm gonna do the other half of my head and I will speed through this and yeah, you, you'll listen to some music while I do it, but this half is done. <laughs> tooth comb because not all my hair was as thoroughly untangled as I thought it was and I also want to point out something that you might have seen like as I'm twisting my hair if there is product that squeezes through like this I pull it down like that because why I wanted to get to the tips which will be naturally the driest part of your hair because it's the oldest part of your hair and then also because my hair is dyed my hair needs it that much more so here we go the whole head is now twisted and i will take a video of me taking this this down tomorrow morning before I leave and we can put on some makeup as well so that's it for the first part I'm gonna put on I'll let it like air dry a bit um, as I chill and watch something and probably sip on something and then when I sleep I'll put on a satin bonnet so check you guys tomorrow Good morning everyone, so it's the next day and as promised it's time to get ready with me. Um, I look so tired, my eyes are puffy because I made a bad decision yesterday. I sat up until like 3am watching Married at First Sight <laughs> and drinking so my eyes are puffy but we'll fix it we'll look good by the end of this and yeah now it's nine o'clock but like I only got five hours of sleep you know and that's not what weekends are for I should be resting but anyway we're here now and I realized yesterday when I was watching the footage that I didn't show you the leave-in conditioner that I was referring to. This is the Aunt Jackie's leave-in conditioner that I use. And this is how thick it is. Like, it's really thick. So, a little goes a really long way. And that's why you can water it down with water just to make it into a spray situation. 
I recently restocked. This was my old one. You see, I even cut it because ang ang moshi, ang moshi. But I need to cut to lose at this and throw it away once and for all. This is a restock. Um. So I'm gonna start with my makeup. Then we're going to do the hair unraveling of the twist outs, which is why yesterday happened. Um, I've already done my eyebrows and I've put on concealer concealer and um, That's why I look white around the eyes and my eyebrows have really seen better days, but I finessed it um, So let's go in with eyeshadow um, I just want like a really neutral looking um, makeup situation so I think a shimmery, I'm thinking this shimmery pinkish mauve, this mauve color. So I'm going to do that. So yeah, I was watching Married at First Sight yesterday and it's not a, it's not one of the new seasons. It's an older season, but I really... I don't mind I'm just doing one shade guys um, I'm not looking for any drastic makeup look I'm not going for a drastic makeup look so like yeah I've been watching the married at first sight and you know um, I still believe in love I'm a single girl I'm a single girl who believes in love and it's love is a beautiful thing finding a partner is a beautiful beautiful thing and I want I want like real 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 love guys like I want someone to be like the jack to my rose if I say jack you better say rose you know um, if I if I die, like, <laughs> on the 23rd of August, 2063, you better die on the 24th. Because you've got nothing to do here on earth. Like, your lover is gone. There's nothing for you to do. So, Gilandele, brothers. Gilandele. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, Mascaria is next. Maybe I should be doing this in the mirror before I mess up. I'm gonna do this in the mirror. This mascara is not the best. It's an essence mascara. It's really not the best, but like I try and I'm not a I'm not a girl that knows how to I don't know how to put on falsies you know see like it's not doing much but we'll have to live with it we'll just have to live with it then this is my trick to makeup then I go in with a setting powder this is a banana powder setting powder whichever you use it's gonna do the same thing so I go in before I do my base I go in with this powder very very lightly look at this pimple sure as a plume as pale yes um yeah so I like to just um mattify my face with some banana powder you can use setting powder as well like you will you won't see it but it just makes your base adhere better to your skin um i'm gonna fast forward through this part i'm gonna put on fit me foundation concealer some blush you'll see but i'm gonna 
make it a bit fast. Alrighty. <laughs> to continue to set and for these pimples to live their best lives on my face I'm gonna take down the twists so they are dry they are dry and when I take them down I use some oil this is the olive miracle oil you can buy it at this cam as well as clicks it's about 40 rand and it's really good um, the ingredients in it are, let me tell you, the ingredients are really good and it's really affordable. It has glycerin, oil, olive oil, and um, what other, grape, oil, grape seed oil, you know, like, it's like a super oil, guys. So, my hands are coated with the oil. I'm just gonna brush it through, brush it through to give the curls shine. Then I'm gonna start unraveling it. And we split the sections again to fluff it out like so. So I'm gonna do that throughout my head. fluffed out I'm trying to get rid of this middle line at the back I hope it's gone so since it's been fluffed out I'm gonna do the hairstyle that I planned and I'm gonna need two hair ties and I'm gonna need my red tail comb I'm gonna keep this part I'm gonna keep this middle part it's just neaten it up so I'm gonna keep this middle part and I'm gonna make two sections here that are less than a quarter of your head that's how I describe it but you'll see let me do that So there we go. I know it doesn't make sense right now, but bear with me. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> and then you're gonna do the same on the other side of your head. Making sure that it's roughly the same size then what I like to do is just tie up the back section because these two sections need neatening up 
these two sections they need neatening up I know like it looks crazy like I'm I'm tying it I'm untying it <laughs> um, but you'll see okay so what I do now is get some gel this is the gel I use I supplies hair and edge holding gel but I don't only use it hairline it's called hairline and edge holding gel but I don't only use it for my edges or hairline I just use it all over I'm gonna tie the section up paddle brush is needed brush it back to the sides and then I'm going to tie the section up quite tightly, quite tightly. Like so, and I'm going to do the same for the section. A little bit of gel. So there we go and then we'll set the back loose and we'll just blend everything into each other hallelujah hallelujah freaking hallelujah we are winning y'all we are winning Then I'm gonna get my toothbrush which is solely used for laying edges and I'm gonna lay some edges. It's hard to do it on camera guys. It's really hard to do it on camera so I'm gonna do it on camera. Make sure we need to nap that part. The edges could be some work. God damn it. I'm gonna leave it like this I am going to leave it just like this I'm happy with that and let's finish this makeup so I'm gonna brush off the powder that I was leaving to set brush it off And then I'm gonna go in with some blush. This is an old Revlon blush, but it's so good. Always smile to get the right spouts. I always do my nose just a little bit. You see, you see, and then some highlighter. This is the Fashini brand. Um, 
just picked it up because it was there but it's really it's it's really nice if i can get it open i really like highlighter guys like i'm not a it's not opening i'm not a contour girl okay i got it open i'm not a contour girl but i am a highlight girl Oh, we're not doing too much just a little bit let me do it in the mirror I try to put my highlighter just above the blush and then some down my nose like not too much but just you know and you can do some forehead action Final step, setting spray. Okay, I need to go get my setting spray. Okay, so I've got my setting spray. I've sprayed it on and this is the look. I haven't decided on what lip color I want. Maybe just a brown liner and some gloss. If you're ever wondering, this is the setting spray I use. It's from Avon and it's really good I like it it doesn't mattify your face too much you know but it's not a matte look but it's not the dewy look either and I'm gonna put on earrings then I'm gonna make breakfast and get dressed I can't decide if I want to do these hoops or if I want to do these with the heart Mm, I think I'm liking the heart situation. It's playful. It's fun. Um, let me see. Let me see. I'm going with these I am going with these they're fun they're unusual because uh, <laughs> I'm always wearing hoops um so yeah that's that on this hairstyle and the get ready with me um I'm gonna show you my outfit and probably a bit of pictures from the day uh, at the end of this video but I'm gonna stop talking here um, thank you for watching. This is a bit longer than my first video, so I hope you're happy with the length. And don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Facebook. The handle is at SneeGNobo. Thank you so much, guys. Love you loads, and I'll see you on the next one.